and this video covers the installation of CentOS 5 using the first CD only. This is a minimum install which is useful for setting up a web server or file server in a secure manner. We're looking at the boot up screen after inserting the CD. We'll go ahead and hit enter and wait for the installation system to boot up. Okay, we don't need to test the media, so we'll go ahead and skip this. Press enter. Okay, and we're going to click next. All right, English is our language, so we'll click next from here, the default. And we're using a US English keyboard, so we'll click next. I'm using a uh, hard drive with that has nothing on it, so this message is okay. I don't have any data on it I want to save, so I'm going to go ahead and use the whole drive, erasing all data. Click yes. Okay. The default should be fine here, so I'll just click on next. And just to verify that I want to remove all Linux partitions and data. There's nothing on here, so yes is fine. Uh, here you can set up your networking. I'm going to leave mine on DHCP for now, but before you put your server in production, you'll want to make sure you change the uh, to a static IP address. And I am on New York time, so I'll stay with the default for New York time. System clock should always use UTC, UTC the universal time clock, for servers. I'll click on next. Now I'll type in a, a root password and then click on next. Okay. Now you basically here you want to deselect all packages. So it won't ask for any other CDs. So we deselect all packages and then we click on customize now. And click on next. And then here, you just select the different categories on the left and deselect anything that's checked on the right. And I do mean anything, including the base system. Uncheck it. Dial up networking. Anything that we need to use for the server will install after we get the minimum install up. Because then we're only going to be installing the software that we're actually going to be using on the server. Okay, we'll go ahead and click on next after everything's deselected. Okay, and to begin the installation, we'll go ahead and click on next. And it's coffee time. We'll come back after the system's finished installing. Now the space installation, you're not going to see a graphical interface anymore after this. It's just going to be all command line, which for purposes for a server is perfectly fine with us. We can go ahead and install Webmin, uh, SSL and Webmin, uh, to manage the server using a uh, graphical interface. There's just no reason to be running X on a server. unless of course you need it. But that can be installed as well after the base install is done. It won't take long to install the base system. From start to finish on a virtual machine with less than 500 mega RAM, it took uh, about 10 minutes.
two minutes left on the installation now. Okay, the installation is complete. And we can go ahead and click on the pull the CD out and click on reboot. And that's it.